Hello friends, here in this video we will see what is meant by radius of gyration. The next definition. Radius of gyration is defined as that distance from a given axis up to a point where the entire area is assumed to be concentrated. So here I have written the definition of radius of gyration that it is defined as that distance from a given axis up to a point where the entire area is assumed to be concentrated. To understand this in a better manner, we require a diagram. Suppose we have an arbitrary area which is called as total area capital A. Now within this total area, if we have small areas. Like I am assuming here three areas A1, A2 and A3. Now when I see their distances A1, A2 and A3. So I will mark their distances. The distance of A1 with respect to x axis. this will be y1 distance of a2 distance of a3 y3 so here we have three individual areas i am assuming that there are three areas like this we would be having n number of areas in the total area capital a so a1 is at distance y1 a2 is at y2 and a3 is at y3 now if for this example, I am considering that the entire area is in the form of strip and the distance of this strip with respect to x axis this is k. So now here if the total area is capital A and if I am taking the moment of this area about x axis so I will write down therefore moment of area about x axis is given by ixx is equal to the moment is area into distance so I am taking the moment of area area into distance now again taking the moment of area about x axis now if I am taking the moment second time it becomes ixx is equal to a into that distance will become distance square. So ixx is equal to a k square. So from this I will get k is equal to root of ixx upon capital A. So this I will keep this as equation number one and I can say that therefore k is equal to radius of gyration 
about x axis. So, here as I have written in the definition that radius of gyration is defined as the distance as that distance from a given axis that is x axis here up to a point where the entire area is assumed to be concentrated. So, here I am assuming the entire area is concentrated at this point and previously the area was distributed throughout. So, the area common area denoted by capital A it is at a distance of k. So, this k is nothing but it is called as radius of gyration. So, here I have written the formula it is root of ix x upon area. Next similarly I can say that moment of area about y axis is given by i y y is equal to area into k and similarly for that I will say that therefore again taking the moment of area about y axis for that also I need to have a diagram where I can explain it. So, here again I am assuming a body of irregular shape which has total area capital A inside this we have three different areas now I will say that this is area 1, area 2 and area 3 they are distances with respect to y axis. The first distance is of area 1 that is here I have this is of area 2 so x2 for area 1 it is I will denote it as area 1 so here I have x1 this is area 2 so x2 and here I have x3. Now similarly I can assume that this total area is in the form of a strip and that total area with respect to y axis its distance we will call that as k. So, now when I am again taking the moment of area about the y axis by taking distance x that will become i y y is equal to a into it was k so it becomes k square. So, now from this I can say that therefore k is equal to root of i y y upon area. So, previously in equation number 1 I had got the radius of gyration about x axis. Now, I will keep this as equation number second and where k is equal to radius of gyration about y axis and its unit since it is radius its unit will be either in terms of mm it can be in terms of centimeter or it can be in terms of meter. So, here in this video we have seen the definition and concept behind radius of gyration.